Hello everyone, welcome back to another vlog. I am in Hilton Head. Here, throw me the ball. Oh! <laughs> we brought Suki and we're here visiting uh, Garrett's parents and just having a nice weekend. It's beautiful, it's supposed to be around 79.80 today. Sunny, nice, and we're just gonna vacation. So, plan to sit by the pool a lot, walk on the beach, go to the beach, go out to dinners, happy hours, all that stuff. So, I'll show you around and all the like fun, fun things to do in Hold Ahead. But we're so happy to be here. I'm so happy we brought Suki, and they're um, they actually have a new pug named Frederick. Frederick will have to get on the vlog, but he he got neutered. <laughs> like two days ago so he's he's you know not in his tip-top conditions he's a little uh drugged up and the problem is he actually wants to play with suki a good bit but he's not supposed to be like jumping or running around with his stitches like his incision site so he's resting right now in his bed but um i'll bring him out soon and we can i'll show you frederick but yeah it should be a fun vlog i'm really excited to be here i'm wearing this cute this cute cover-up it's from show me your moo moo it's actually, I actually rented it on Fashion Pass. So I usually do newly, but um, I wanted to switch it up because I had a few different occasions that I wanted to rent stuff for. And Fashion Pass, you can send stuff back and switch it out throughout the month. So I got a bunch of stuff for Hilton Head and then I got a bunch of stuff for something else later. And yeah, just gonna have a nice day by the pool. So welcome back and let's get going. such a beautiful day it's so perfect out I think it's around 80 degrees sunny blue skies it's perfect and we've been listening to Taylor Swift on repeat so we're going to the Eras tour in Philly um, in a few weeks and so we're gonna go we're trying to get all ready to go so we've been playing the set list but like I've been trying to keep myself from seeing any spoilers it's hard like on reels and TikTok there's so much and the algorithm like knows I'm obsessed with Taylor Swift so it's really all I get but I've been trying to just swipe through and I had wanted to have an idea of what songs were gonna be played but I don't want to know the order or any spoilers like that so I haven't I've been trying to protect myself as much as I can but I've been playing the set list on shuffle so that we just because Garrett's coming with me too so I want him to like make sure we know every song and I mean obviously I know every song but more for Garrett yes yeah, so we can get prepared so it's just gonna be an era's day. We're sitting here, Taylor Swift on shuffle, and soaking up the sun. It's been so nice. We're trying to blow up this <laughs> this pool toy, but like we ran out of steam, so it's been like half blown up, but it still works, so whatevs. We're out on our walk. It's a beautiful, beautiful day. We just felt like we were cooking in the pool for a while and it was time to go to the beach, which is like my ideal vacation. Pool, beach, pool. And just flip flop as much as you can. Um, but we wanted to get some steps in, so we're doing a walk along the beach and then we'll probably do a little dunk swim at the end. Uh, what did you say the other day we were gonna do? I didn't know the reference to it. Uh, gym tan laundry. Yes. <laughs> I said, I said, Garrett, like, What's our plan for the vacation? Gym tan laundry? And he was like, haha, yeah. And I was like, that was that was funny. Like And he's never seen Jersey Shore, which is well, I know what it atrocious. Is. I just haven't. Yeah, well that, 
it's a cultural moment that you're missing out on. But anyway, that's kind of what we're doing. We did F45 this morning. We've been tanning at the pool. We started a load of laundry. Yep. What, what part of Hilton Head are we on right now? Sinesta. We're by the Sinesta Beach Club, kind of. Yeah. Yeah. But it's really nice. It's, it's really not that crowded. I kind of expected it to be a little bit more swarmy with people. But the beach is like wide open and it's really nice. So anyway, we're going to do our little walk and enjoy the vibes. Oh, are we going to bike this? Probably not. I do e-bikes one day. Yeah, maybe. That'd be fun. But anyway, should be fun tonight. We're going to go to happy hour and grab dinner. I don't know all the places, but I'll bring... I'll bring the camera along. I do want to swim in the water, it's getting hot. And it's against my religion to go to the beach and not swim. Garrett doesn't seem to care about that, but yeah, no, I just I, got a dunk. I, don't, I guess not, in the, not in the winter. I just yeah. feel like I can, I've never been able to be like, oh, beach day, and not like go swim and dunk under. Like I'm a, I'm a swimmer. Park. Like if I'm by the water, I'm swimming in it. I'm not like laying out, so. I'm looking forward to my dunk in a little bit. trying to get to the beach before sunrise. We have two minutes till sunrise, so I don't think we're gonna make it with parking, but we'll see. We're gonna do a sunrise walk and start the day and get some steps in with the sunrise. It's one of my favorite things. I grew up on the West Coast, so I never really saw a sunrise like on the beach, and that's like my favorite thing to do when we're here, so. It sucks because you can't sleep in and I'm tired but it's worth it because they're really, really nice. And generally there's not that many people on the beach, so you kind of have it to yourself and it's great. But yeah, we have one minute, we're not gonna make it. We won't see the very first, but we'll get the rest of the sunrise, so anyway. Well, we missed actual sunrise. The sun was up, but only like this bit. I think we missed it by two minutes. But the sun kind of goes up fast. Like when it's going, yeah. it goes. So, I mean, it's a lot. yeah, like it's already behind the clouds a little bit, but it's beautiful. It's cloudy, but not blocking the sun, which is nice. So it has like a really nice, I think it's gonna get even prettier as it gets up. Oh, we were just saying if we lived here, like, cause you guys were big morning walkers but it is hard to motivate to get up in the morning sometimes for us. And I feel like a sunrise is like one of those things that would actually motivate us because it's so pretty. Like walking, and you don't get a sunset like this on the East Coast either. So it's like, this is the one time you get this beautiful view. So we're just soaking it up. Maybe we'll do it again tomorrow. Although I was gonna sleep in tomorrow. Yeah, we'll Mentally, Sunday, Sunday maybe. Cause we're gonna go to F45 after this, but. I do plan to nap today. It's the key to waking up early is trying to scope out when you're gonna nap. For me. Look at this big dog. <laughs> Owner for context. It's literally like a horse. The sun has risen. Now we're just enjoying a nice walk. All right, you guys, we have our gator sighting. <laughs> it's 
so freaky. They really freak me out. I do not love them. But when it's out sunny, they come out and they sun on these banks, like in these, we all live in the ponds and then they'll come out. We've already seen a couple. This is probably my fourth one I've seen. How crazy, don't they look like dinosaurs? Like I can't believe they're actually real and just live here. Yesterday, there was a dog on the loose and we were trying to like catch this dog to like bring it back to his owner. And there was a gator swimming in the pond coming up. It was so freaky, but I don't think anything happened. Got him. We're heading to F45 this morning. There's a new one. It's just open in Hill and Head, I think this month in April. Scroll. Oh my God. We're going to this new F45. We went yesterday and it's so nice. Like the gym is full, high ceilings, all the weights, everything is brand new. So it just feels like we love our F45 obviously, but it's an old one that's been there for a while. So it's a little worn down. And so it's kind of fun to go to this like new shiny, clean, well that ours isn't clean, but you know, feels pristine. So we're gonna do that this morning and it's like Mark Wahlberg week, whatever that means. So there's specific exercises that we're doing that he is a part of in some way. So all it means is generally they're kind of all different than the usual F45, but hopefully Friday is a good one. Generally it's kind of a hybrid cardio and resistance one. So we'll see. Are you ready for some fitness? <laughs> the best part of being in uh, suburbia is the Starbucks drive through It's heaven. My favorite thing in the world. There we are. Hey, good morning. I'm out of mobile for Garrett. Great day. Great, thank you. There's a new item crispy grilled cheese on the sourdough. Oh, they've had that for a while. Oh. It was always in the the little pre-made oh, thing out front. Look that good. Thank you. Thank you so okay, much. Thanks. Same to you. Pretty good. Yeah. Not as good as yesterday, but pretty good. No. We've been doing this hack that my friend Natalie taught us. Well, I know a lot of people have done it, but we just oh, hadn't done it before. The big lid. Yeah. Um, where we're ordering a grande drink but asking for it in a venti cup because you just get a little bit more and we add cold foam to our drink and so when you add cold foam in the grande size the amount of like actual drink is tiny and I finish it in three sips. So I always get the venti because I want like a significant drink but I don't need four shots of espresso. So this is the perfect balance of you get the whole drink then they put the cold foam on top so there's way more room but you only get the two or three or whatever, how many shots are in a grande. So, our drink is the iced chocolate almond milk shaken espresso in a venti cup with vanilla sweet cream, sweet cream cold foam. It's so good. It's very expensive and it's very indulgent, but it's so good. But there's, it's great because there's no like syrups or sweeteners like they just use like malt chocolate powder and mix it with the espresso. So it's not overly sweet. It's just the cold film on top that's sweet. Next time I might try what Natalie says she does. She orders, I, although does it cost more? Extra cold foam. I don't know. We had a look. I'll if try that same next price, time. It would fill She's, up yeah. the top. Yeah, we'll see. Oh my god, the big one's right there, Garrett. Look, it's, oh my god. The big one's on the. Oh my god, a baby and a mom. There it goes. Wow. That was crazy. I didn't see the mom. Frederick, look at me. Woof. <laughs> look who I got. I got my Frederick in his little onesie from the, the vet. You're so cute. We got our Lou. Being a little bit of a bully to Frederick, but okay. Not being nice. She just wants us to know who's, you know, who runs this house. We're calling her HBIC. Suki is HBIC. And she wants everyone to know it. Oh, Do you know Sit? Do you know anything yet? Oh, my sweet boy. You are so cute and perfect. Are you a cutie? 
Sit. 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 He's confused. I don't think he knows that one yet. That one's a hard one for us puppies. Look at that curly cute tail. Look at that little donut. Sit. <laughs> That's good. sun limit. Like my skin, I've like reapplied sunscreen so much. We bought a bottle yesterday and it's already out. We're almost out, but hopefully I didn't get sunburned, but I'm wearing another Show Me Your Moo Moo cover up. This one's not as cute, but it has, until it has an open back, which is cute. It's coming up on three o'clock now and I think we're going to go to the grocery store and get stuff. I think we're going to grill burgers tonight, which will be fun. So got to go get stuff at the grocery store and we're going to grill. And then I think we're gonna do sunset at the beach and bring Suki to run at the beach. Frederick can't run at the beach yet because, well he has before obviously, but he can't right now because of him getting neutered or whatever. He can't go in the sand with his stitches. So it'll just be Suki, but um, we're gonna go take her to the beach tonight and watch the sunset and bring some beers and stuff. So that should be fun. <laughs> Thanks, yeah, well, I got this is my new hat and it was for Garrett, but it doesn't fit his big head. So now it's mine. But we're measuring, we're about um, to get a tape measure to me measure our heads. Because Garrett's got a big fat head. <laughs> I mean, that looks great on you though. You wouldn't know it's tight. It doesn't look too small. It's just when he wears it for a couple hours, it literally like indents his head. We'll, we'll see what the tape measure head. says. No, because then when, when you don't wear a hat, you would go called? in. When you evolve. Evolution, but you would, you would cone head. It's not a good look. Unless you plan to wear a hat every day. But it's from Tobacco Road. It's a golf course that we've never been to. I've been by there. You've been to? Oh, by there. I've looked. And I'm drinking a hazy IPA. This is my refill, but I haven't gotten to it yet. Garrett's drinking Miller Lite. And we're happy houring, and we're gonna grill burgers and fries. And ooh, here comes the the tape measure. Let's see. All right. Let's see whose head is fatter. Who's the? Get around my ears. What does it say? <laughs> Are you two got the zoomies? <laughs> oh, flip it. There's one.
I think we're gonna get Starbucks, so I'm holding out. Today was supposed to be, oh good, so you laid back down. When we woke up, it said it was raining all day. Oh no, oh it's my God. Raining. I, that's weird. I literally just made that happen. Well, it okay, it just started raining on us, but basically it's gonna rain on and off all day so it won't be as much of like a sun pool day i don't think the sun's gonna come out as much all right we gotta go soon it's raining oh no Here. okay anyway it's a rainy day today so we gotta think of some stuff to do but it's raining on and off not consistently so it's kind of hard to know but just enjoying a slow morning we went and got ginger shots Boost our immunity, can't get sick. There was another brand, Suja, ones of these, but they were like, looks like they were ran over by a bus. The the oh. is a little nasty, so I got this kind. Cayenne, ginger, turmeric. Wow, <laughs> that's awful. <laughs> Ooh. Oh my god, we gotta go. And do what? Ooh. Walk around. <laughs> it's like worse than a whiskey. It's unbelievable. But it's not. It tastes good. It just no, it like doesn't. burns. It burns. But you like ginger, like at sushi. Yeah. Just like deep down, it's like a different kind of like <laughs> burn. Oh, I have a surprise for you on our Starbucks order. Really? What is it? Well, let's see if you can see. Did we you get extra order. cold foam? Yeah. <laughs> it was the same price. Oh, wow. Can't wait. We're doing our trick again where we're getting the grande and the venti cup and you could put extra cold foam, which is what Natalie does, and it costs nothing extra, so I did it for ours. Hello. Hi. Uh, no, it's okay. Thank you. Thank you so much. Have a nice day. You too. Looks kind of the same as yeah. yesterday. I mean, it's very good, but it looks the same. Now what are we going to do? Go on a walk? Yeah, that or salty dog. Well, we have the car and we're out. The salty dog is just like an infamous, well not infamous, fam just famous, random like merch shop that it's a bar. But if you live on the East Coast, you've probably seen people wearing salty dog t-shirts or hoodies everywhere. And I like their symbol with the dog yeah, with the good. little hat. It's so cute. It's a really cool bar. You know. Yeah, it's on the water, like really cool bar. It's not the best food, like air fried, like, or not air fried, like deep fried. I'm never happy after I eat there, but it's fun to get drinks there. And they've got, they'll often have live music and they have a fire pit. And What did I get last time? A po' boy, I think? We've gotten the calamari. Yeah, we got some kind of bites. We just went to the Salty Dog t-shirt factory, which was different than the one that's next to the actual salty dog, but it was right, way closer to the house, and we got some good stuff. Well, this has nothing to do with the salty dog, but Suki's obsessed with squirrels, so we're gonna give this to her and just see if she freaks out, because it's very lifelike, so that's just fun. Garrett got this tea in nice comfort colors. Got a secret surprise gift that I can't show for someone who I know watches my vlogs. And I got this hoodie. It's like I'm doing a terrible job showing it, but it's a little bit different. I, it's not the Salty Dog. It's Blue Water Tackle Shop, but it's, a, it's just a shop right next to the Salty Dog. And this hoodie was so soft and so like thin and comfortable. And it's kind of like that washed out color. It looks like it would be like, you know, your dad's like old hoodie that you inherited, but I bought it. So. There's no really logic why I bought it, but it was thirty nine dollars. The other salty dog hoodie was fifty nine, and I already own two salty dog hoodies. I randomly bought that, but yeah, a good haul from the salty dog. Very exciting. You say she likes it. Tell us what you're up to, Garrett. 
ordering some new aloe sets for my wife. <laughs> I don't own anything aloe and I want to try it out. Wow, I can't see. Is this recording? We're posted up at the beach. Processing. It's supposed to be a thunderstorm day, but it's been beautiful. So we're posted up. We have our beers, our beach chairs. Suki was pooped, so we left her at home to nap. And Frederick would love to be here, but he's not allowed. His stitches will heal soon. But yeah, it's a great day. It says it's going to thunderstorm at 3, but and it's 2 right now. But it doesn't look... I don't see any thunderstorms in sight, so I think we're good. to this place called Santa Fe and it's kind of like an inside joke in the family but they have this um, dish like the grouper and it sounds weird like I would never order grouper but it's the best dish so I plan to get that but I'm wearing a little sundress and I borrowed this jacket from Liz and yeah it should be fun. Our final day in Hilton Head and we're motivating for a sunrise walk and we're bringing our Lou. She's not too happy with us. She wants to be sleeping but I think she'll be happy once we're there because she did so well on our walk yesterday. She was able to walk three miles with us up and down the beach because we just kept dunking her in the water to cool her down and she made it so far which she never can walk. She could never even walk a mile at home so that was huge and yeah, we figured we might as well take advantage and do it again so we're taking her we're gonna go see the sunrise. Now that we're out and about and on our walk, Suki's getting the, the pace well. I wanna talk about dinner last night, it was so good. I got the grouper and I just, if you ever go to Hilton Head, you got to go to the restaurant Santa Fe and get the grouper. It's, it's one of the best like fish dishes and not, I guess the rest of the dish, but it's like a Parmesan encrusted fish and it's so like fluffy and flavorful. It's so good. And then it's on a bed of like rice and vegetables, which is just very average, but the grouper itself is so good. And then Garrett got, what'd you get? Car uh, Five. A ribeye burrito and I had a couple bites of that and that was also fantastic so if you're more not a fish person that's a great option as well but anyway that was a really fun night and then they surprised me with cake at the house because my birthday is in a month <laughs> but they I won't see them probably for a while so that was cute and we had cake and then we went to bed last day it's supposed to be great weather I haven't looked today but Last time I checked, it's supposed to be a really nice day. So I think we're gonna post up at the beach again. What do you think? Yeah? Yeah, I think so. And maybe end at the pool later today. and four days. We're so crazy. We're insane. You're crazy, you never do that. Actually, I never do that either. I space out my F45s a good bit. I usually do Tuesday, Thursday, Sunday, or Tuesday, Friday, Sunday. But anyway, we just finished our F45 and it was a good class. It was like different than huge. They had a lot of like whoa, um, dynamic stretching, like in the actual in pods between, yeah. in between sets so it felt really slow and almost felt like easy but then it, it we like burned a lot of calories and it was good end it on a nice beach day are we taking our daughter 
yeah, we're gonna take Suk. It's not so hot, so I think she'll be able to lay with us, and then whenever she gets hot, we'll just dunk her in the water, so. Hopefully she can hang. We were sitting there waiting for our order, and I've been teaching Garrett some of the meanings behind Taylor Swift songs, and I was just teaching him about the connection of August and Betty in the Folklore album, and we were reading the lyrics, and it blew his mind. Crazy. Mind blowing. <laughs> we're probably like only three weeks out at this point. I'm so excited, I can't even continue. Time. How's that today? See, you get better at it. Yeah. Very reasonable. We've been addicted to the coleslaw game in our turkey wraps. Got some wraps. What is this? Buffalo style chicken breast. We'll assemble because I don't really want to eat lunch yet, but. Travel vlogs to Hilton Head. Did we have a great vacay? We're done. We spent how many hours do you think we're at the beach? Five hours at the beach today. Suki went the whole time. She was great until the end, and and yeah, it was super fun. We fly home tomorrow morning. So anyway, thanks for watching, and please subscribe if you're new, and I'll see you in the next video. Bye.